Griffin. Tune in every weeknight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube.com forward slash the letter C forward slash Serious Minds RN TV. And make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Serious Minds for Serious Minds. Seriously. Open your eyes to the endless possibilities of creating from your centerpiece. Experience your visions brought into reality and watch your dreams unfold naturally. If pictures are worth a thousand words, let's create a story that's a masterpiece. Caso Visions. Capture your visions. Open your eyes to the endless possibilities of creating from your centerpiece. Experience your visions brought into reality and watch your dreams unfold naturally. If pictures are worth a thousand words, let's create a story that's a masterpiece. Caso Visions. Capture your visions. She said she was going to make another one. Open your eyes to the endless possibilities of creating from your centerpiece. Experience your visions brought into reality and watch your dreams unfold naturally. If pictures are worth a thousand words, let's create a story that's a masterpiece. Caso Visions, capture your visions. Greetings everyone, peace, peace. Open your eyes. All right, all right, all right. Let's make this happen. All right, greetings, everyone. Peace, Hotep, Shalom. Good evening, whatever greeting it is that you go by. Um, I'm sure there's many greetings that a lot of people go by that you know people may be unfamiliar with. But um, I want to greet everyone. Dang, books are looking like they're on Skid Row, man. I straighten that out. But anyway, <laughs> good evening, everyone. Um, tonight we got a, a very, very, very um, heartfelt show. <clears throat> We're doing a tribute to Pernell Whitaker. Um, in the boxing world, they just called him Sweet Pea. Um, and um, yeah, Pernell Sweet Pea Whitaker. So I want to greet everyone. Of course, y'all know my name is Professor Griff, and this is Serious Minds. All right. For this real, you can see that. Oh, for real. Ah, that's it right there. All right, cool. I want to thank everybody for coming on. Um, this is one of the rare evenings I'm going to kind of get Facebook and, and Instagram. Yeah, Shane. You was right. That light was... But no, it's cool. It's cool. It's just right above my head. It's kind of bright. You want to tilt it back some more? Yeah. We're trying to get this light right. Nope. Still didn't do it. But yeah. Tilt, yeah, tilt it back. That's it as far as it goes. All right. Let it bounce off the, let it bounce off the wall over there, man. Yeah. That's cool. All right. We're good. All right. So um, thank you, everybody, for coming on. Really appreciate that. Um, we're doing a tribute to my, um, to a brother that I've, you know, kind of, ever since I've, uh, been familiar with boxing, martial arts, and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it's critical, man, because his brother is, um, he passed at 55. Um, I'm older than his brother, so I've kind of, from a distance, watched, uh, the boxing world and watched his brother come up and do his thing. Pernell Sweet Pea, uh, Whitaker. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, I want to um, thank everybody for kind of coming on. Really appreciate that. 
and taking your time out to at least, uh, you know, show you some some support for the uh, for the platform. All right, I want to thank Shane Shakur, who's behind the scenes making things happen, and I want to give a big shout out and send some positive energy uh, to my moderator, 16, who won't be with us um, tonight, kind of under the weather. I'm not sure if y'all have heard or not, but the weather has hit New Orleans, Louisiana, um, that whole area, that coastline, hit them hard, man. I believe last time I heard it was 17 to 20 inches of rain. That's a lot of rain, man. That's a lot of rain. Um, but you can't say that we haven't been warned. Minister Farrakhan's been saying this uh, for a minute, and um, we just have to look at it. Whatever angle that you look at it from, nonetheless, we need to pay attention to it. Um, I want to thank everybody for um, coming on the uh, class last night. Give yourselves a round of applause. I want to thank you all personally. We had a preparedness class, an emergency preparedness class. All right, Miss Salazar, how are you doing? Salazar, the great. What's going on with you? Good? All right. Um, so it was a beautiful class. Uh, we have to do part two because we ran out of time. Last night's class was for three hours from seven to ten. We talked about just surviving in these times right now. We went over some prepping stuff. We went over some food supply, medical supply, what you store in your home, in your car, um, that kind of thing. We went over just techniques on basically how to survive. We're doing part two. Make sure y'all sign up for the class. Y'all can send me an email at seriousmindsinfo at gmail.com. Seriousmindsinfo at gmail.com. Thank to everyone that was in the class last night. Thank y'all very much for participating. All right. But anyway, thank all the supporters for Serious Minds. Um, um, this platform is definitely supported by the people. All right. Um, so we want to dive into the subject. Um, but first, we want to let everyone know if you would like to donate to the platform. My cash app is dollar sign Professor Griff. That's just dollar sign and my name. All lowercase, all one word, Professor Griff. Or you can go to www.paypal.me forward slash Professor Griff Corp. That's Professor Griff Corp. All right, or just go to my website, www.professorgriff.me. All right, and if you're on YouTube, which you should be on YouTube, www.youtube.com forward slash the letter C, as in consciousness, forward slash Professor, pardon me, Serious Minds are in TV. Serious Minds are in TV. All right, and if you're on YouTube, just click the super chat, donate whatever you can. Uh, Donate. Remember, we have to support independent media. This is independent media. If you're following the trends and what's going on with social media, all right, and I call them the major three, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, and I think Facebook owns Instagram, all right? So we have to understand where this is going. They can cut this off at any time. You, the people that are watching this, have to support independent media, whether it's my platform someone else's platform, people that's bringing you um, the news, all right? Tonight, I wanted to talk about Donald Trump's racist tweets, all right? Which was one of the first things I discussed uh, this morning. Um, and it stuck with me halfway through the day. I came up in the lab, was making some music, studying some things, and um, someone sent me a message, man, that, um, uh, um, Shane, you spelled, you spelled Whitaker wrong. W-H-I. Yeah, just Google it. Um, someone hit me up and said, Pernell Whitaker, uh, they just announced that he passed away. I'm like, nah, for real? So I'm reading the brother's text, and then I'm going online, and before I could do that, um, Soleil says, you know, they said, they just announced that uh, Sweet Pea passed away, because um, we're familiar with the brother and his work because um, we're a part of um, Jabs with Nabs. DJ Nabs has a class at Decatur Boxing Club. All right. And, um, you know, we join the gym, get in shape, stay in shape, learn some techniques, hit the bag, do some kicks, punches, whatever, get the, uh, the wind up. And um, Pernell Whitaker's picture is all throughout the gym. All right. Um. Yeah, it's 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 a hell of a thing, man. Um, to know that 
you have a man that came from the projects and 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 saw his way through with the support of course his family but managed to go and uh his family supported him to the point where he trained hard enough to get into the Olympics and he won all right and he won and when he turned pro I think his record was somebody help me out 40 four and no 41 and four lost four draw one draw and 40 he had 40 bouts professionally now can somebody help me with the stats look up Pernell Whitaker all right boxing record all right damn they're calling you Willie whispers man damn bro it's critical but anyway if you're familiar with boxing all right um, I've been following boxing ever since I've been in uh, Nabs' class. Shout out to DJ Nabs. All right. Um, yeah, it's just uh, it's just one of those kind of things, man. Where when you lose someone like that, that has been part of somebody that you've been watching. All right. Um, it's someone that you say, okay, well, I want to move like him. I want to be in shape like him. I want to be able to throw them joints like him. All right. But tonight, we're going to give a tribute to uh, Pernell Sweepy Whitaker. All right, so on this platform, we're about the business of raising a vibrational pitch of our people's thinking into the mind of the creator all right, and the co-creator. We're standing on the shoulders of the ancestors and kneeling at the feet of the elders. We need everyone on IG and Facebook to meet us on YouTube. All right, it's www.youtube.com forward slash the letter C, forward slash Serious Minds are in TV every night at 9 o'clock. The beautiful thing about the platform, I've turned Tuesdays and Thursdays over to uh, my moderator, 16, and she's doing a wonderful job by balancing this out, all right? We're storing myotic balance at it like this, and this is just Professor Griff. I put together a book called The Warrior's Tapestry, all right? And me personally, myself, I had to find those tension outlets. I said it right. Tension outlets. Those things that when you bottled up with a lot of tension in the hood, you got to figure out how you can let that tension out. Are you following me? Martial arts was that thing. Shout out to Master Teacher MT. Erskine Matthews. Shout out to Sister Flight. Yvette Holmes. All right. Shout out to my man Pop Diesel. Mr. John Oliver. Really appreciate that. Shout out to my uh, my running partner at that time, Roger Chillis. We call him Chili. Uh, and all those brothers and sisters that I've trained with, Gene Vereen, and all the brothers and sisters in Roosevelt, Freeport, Hempstead, Uniondale, Long Island. All right? But I want to thank uh, my mom, who's now an ancestor, for the wherewithal to say, we, I'm, I need to put you in self-defense class. And I started out at the Korean and Taiwanese schools. All right? Then the Chinese schools with Kung Fu and White Crane and Wushu and all this kind of stuff. But it wasn't until uh, I was under the tutelage of a, of a man by the name of Erskine Matthews who I said to myself, okay, this style fits me. All right, let me see if I can discipline myself. And then from there, you know, the cadets, the FOI, the military, some of those revolutionary circles helped me for, uh, shape and mold my discipline. All right? which kept me out of a lot of trouble. And I think this is one of the things that boys clubs, and I got to thank my, my uncle who's now an ancestor, James Simpson, all right? We call him Uncle Jimmy, all right? Um, who coached Little League football. So I'm, I'm back to the book. So what I put in the book, we have to have tension outlets. We have to provide an environment for young people to come up and flourish, all right? So if you're not responsible for young people, if you're not, um, if you don't have nieces or nephews and little cousins and that kind of thing, all right, you might not understand this conversation then, but we have to provide a platform for them. We don't want y'all not to pay attention to conversations like this, but when something befalls you or one of your relatives, you understand what I'm saying? You want people to come to your aid. No, see, these are the kind of conversations right now that we need to have. Alright? Please tell Shane, aka Willie Whispers, to fix the spelling on the screen. Yeah, we took care of that. 
Thanks, Quan. Yeah. Tribute. You still messed it up, man. <laughs> Look up tribute to Pernell Whitaker. They, they're telling you to fix tribute. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, look at, yeah, you got it. All right, so, thanks, Quan. Um, so, we have to be able to be very mindful now of the kind of environment that we create for young people. Pernell Whitaker came up in that kind of environment, all right? But someone took time to say, look, young man, we're going to do this for you. Every boxer right now, Almost every boxer, now let me say every boxer, every boxer right now that I think that I have a, a, a leaning towards following have came up like that. Uh, one of the boxers that I've been following is Javante Davis. You familiar with Javante Davis? Google Javante Davis' name. That was really ugly. All right, you have to put dude in time out. Damn. <laughs> All right, so yeah. So Javante Davis was one of those kind of individuals. All right. Um. Oh, who else was one of those individuals, man, that came up like that? Oh, oh, I'm talking about boxes like right now. Of course, y'all already know Mike Tyson was one of those individuals. But someone had to say, look, slow down. Come on. We're going to let you get some of that tension out. Come to the gym and let's train. And that's a beautiful thing, man. You're in there. You have to focus. You have to concentrate. You're building your body while building your mind, building your self-esteem, and building your confidence. These are the kind of environments that we need to create. What's the sister name um, at the 150 pound weight class? Clarissa Shields, look up Clarissa Shields. Clarissa Shields, all right? What's up, Riri? Harrison, what's happening? Look up Clarissa Shields. Are y'all following me? Y'all rocking with me? Come on now, let's keep up, come on. Look up Clarissa Shields. Tell me who Clarissa Shields was. Do me a favor, bro. You see those two tan boxes right there? Hand me those two tan boxes. <laughs> Clarissa Shields. Yo, Clarissa Shields is the truth, man, for real. While y'all looking up Clarissa Shields, what I need y'all to do is anybody y'all know in the New Jersey, in the tri-state area, in the New York area, the tri-state area, especially New York, Jersey, Connecticut, all right, Long Island, Suffolk County, Nassau County, Queens, Bronx, Brooklyn, Staten Island, Reese Island, Governor's Island. Hell, tell some people on Rikers Island to come on over. Soleil will be in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. This Saturday. All right? At Nicholas, Brooklyn. All right? Soleil will be in Brooklyn at Nicholas, Brooklyn. Did y'all get the information off the fly? Nicholas, Brooklyn, this Saturday. All right? Nicholas, Brooklyn. All right? Brooklyn, New York, Saturday, July 20th, 2019, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., in-person, live-streamed lecture, Nourishing the Goddess, an offering of sacred medicine. This lecture is an introduction to healing modalities and practices that may be incorporated into daily life through nourishing ourselves physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally in order to walk in divine wellness. Soleil is teaching at Nicholas, Brooklyn, the only one in the tri-state area, Jersey, Connecticut. I tell them to come on through. Uh, Mr. D. Boy, what's good with you? We're talking about giving a tribute to Pernell Whitaker tonight. But did y'all look up Carissa Shields? She's an Olympian champ as well. Roland, Marklin. You're not, yeah, she is, but you got to do some more justice to that, bro. Come on, come on. Who is Clarissa Shields? Black American boxer with multiple championships. Thank you, Nikki Nicole. Multiple championships. All right. She went to the Olympics several times. The only black woman to do it. Clarissa Shields is the truth. I'm telling you. All right? But I'm, I'm, I'm saying that to say this. I'm saying that to say that she came up. Um, 
I believe in Flint, Michigan. And every time you see someone like that, you look at these areas in which help mold and shape these particular individuals. And you say, damn, now nah, I see why. I see why Pernell Whitaker was vicious in, in the ring. I see why Clarissa Shields and other people, Mike Tyson and other people, was like, listen, there's a whole slew of boxes in, that I can mention, like Javante Davis um, um, and other people. All right? But they didn't have the luxury of affording the uniforms, the gloves. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, I, I, you know, I joined the gym, and I just said to myself, I want to be able to, uh, I think my third song I planned on, um, my third song I planned on doing the, uh, my video in the gym. So I, I spent some money on my gloves. Can you hear me? My gloves up there and my pads. I ain't wore these damn gloves and use my pads yet because I'm waiting for my video. <laughs> for real. Now, if y'all look these up, these this ain't no chump change, man. These things cost some money. Give me one of the gloves. Yeah. I said to myself, man, I'm going to buy me something just for me. Um... I'm one of the kind of individuals it's hard for me to take gifts from people. You understand what I'm saying? So every now and then, um, you know, you got to treat yourself to something. So I said, I was going to get me some kind of gloves that I want. This is the this is the best in boxing, ringside products. All right? These are the ones I wanted. Um, side note, I got these gloves also because I thought I was going to have um, Errol Spence sign them because I was going to the Mikey Garcia Errol Spence fight. In Dallas, Texas, and I never made it. But anyway, yeah, it's one of those things. They can't afford stuff like this, man. So somebody, all right, got to donate. Somebody got to put money back in the hood. Somebody got to, Floyd Mayweather is another one. All right, you look at his, how he came up. Fortunately, his dad was a boxer, all right? His dad was a boxer, and so he was used to being, he was used to being around that. You understand what I'm saying? In that environment, all right. But um, if you listen to these individual stories, there's a common thread, man. There's a common thread in the story. Shout out to Mr. Earl Holder. What's good with you, bro? There's a common thread in all of these stories. All right. Uh, truth be told. Some of them, these stories are heartbreaking, man. It's like, you know, it's, 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 yeah. It's like, I don't see how they made it out of those kind of situations. All right. Me and Shane just sat here and watched the highlights of the, uh, Pernell Whitaker, um, De Oscar De La Hoya, um, fight. And, uh, Sweet Pea, yeah, was a dangerous dude, man, for real. So, I'm saying this part of the talk tonight. We have to be able to create those environments for young people to thrive. Let me ask everyone a question right now. Have you done your part? What have you done to do your part to create these kind of environments for young people to thrive? All right. I mean, fine if you want to click off. That's cool. What have you done? What did you do to create these kind of environments? All right. Have you ever thought about creating these kind of environments man? for young people to thrive in? Let me see. Yeah, he was robbed against Chavez. Yes, yeah, I truly know and understand that. Yep. They robbed him in that fight. All right. Come on now. Talk to me. So let's play. Um, I'm going to play uh, a news clip while we answer that particular question about our good brother, Brunel Whitaker. See if this is still plugged up. It is. I ain't got no juice. I don't see it lit up. Okay, you good? I'm good. I know we're talking about boxing. We're talking about, the first part is we're talking about creating those environments for young people to thrive. Fortunately, 
young older people that I see around in the hood are taking these young cats into the studio and music is becoming the outlet. All right. What is your outlet? Can you share that with us? What is your outlet? Riri, I know your outlet is music and a few other things. I was part of a creative summer bridge program for Bergen County College. Give thanks, Riri. All right. I created programs for young people. Our hat goes off to you. Thank you very much, George Jackson. Da, 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 da. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this right tonight. At B and H, we found a way for you. To you pay the tax, we pay you back. We're on top of breaking news this midday. Virginia Beach police have confirmed. The person who was killed after being hit by a car last night was boxing legend Purnell Sweepy Whitaker. Hello, I'm Don Roberts. And I'm Lex Gray. The 55-year-old former boxer is originally from Norfolk. He was hit on Northampton Boulevard near Baker Road. That's not far from the Norfolk Premium Outlets. Tell your side's Andy Fox now live with the latest. And Andy, what can you tell us? Well, Don, as you know, Purnell Sweepy Whitaker for many years was known as the best pound for pound fighter in professional boxing. I am at the office complex of Bart Fry, developer, who was a close personal friend of Sweepy. Just moments ago, we spoke to him, and this is what he had to say uh, as we're looking at the scene of what happened. Last night at 10.04, Whitaker was struck by a car in the intersection of Northampton Boulevard and Baker Road. It's believed he was crossing the road from one side of Northampton to the other. When police arrived on scene, they found Whitaker in the roadway, and he died at the scene. Police tell us the driver remained on scene when the police arrived and also no charges have been filed but the case does remain under investigation moments ago we spoke with bart fry who was a longtime friend and mentor to sweet pea fry attended most of sweet pea's 40 professional fights 17 were by knockout four losses and one very controversial draw the loss i felt was significant because by a good friend i mean a really good friend who pulled himself up by his bootstraps you know he <clears throat> came from public housing, and he actually won his first title at Scope 200 yards or so away from where he grew up in those kinds of uh, times. Mm. Now let's just remember this and think about this for a second. He grew up in low-income housing. I was talking with Bart Fry. He said that a lot of what his life was like in low-income housing had a lot to do with his toughness when he got into the ring. Now, we are continuing to work many aspects of this story, and we will have another report coming up on Wavy News 10 at 1230. But, of course, everyone today mourning the loss of our own Sweet Pea, Purnell Whitaker. All right. That was, that was one of the main new, news uh, casts that I saw when they first, um, when I first heard about the news. And um, I, I immediately went looking, calling a few people. Um, I don't know what people do during the day. I was unable to get anyone, but I'm actually gonna go to the gym tomorrow and just pay my respects, man, to the people that he came up with, all right? Um, yeah, Biggs runs the gym. Is the Gator to get uh, Decatur, uh, Decatur boxing gym in Decatur, Georgia? All right. So where Usher was training at for uh, the, for the uh, film that he was in with uh, Hands of Stone, um, the movie Usher was in. And even when you go in the gym, there's picture, pictures of Usher up. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow, and um, yeah, just be with Biggs, sit down, talk to Biggs if I can get a chance to. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, Biggs. I think that. Huh? Sugar Ray Leonard came up like that? Oh, Usher. Yeah, Usher plays Sugar Ray Leonard in the movie. Right, right. You just said Sugar Ray Leonard. See, I asked you to stop doing that to me because you just yelling out Sugar Ray Leonard. I'm like, what you, you like him or something? He, you, he owe you money or something? Okay, you got to make complete sentences, dude. <laughs> So yeah, so Usher played Sugar Ray Leonard in the movie Hands of Stone. So, but Biggs, um, the, the driver stayed on the scene to answer questions to the police. They won't release his name, but yeah. So, um, so I want to come to the gym tomorrow. Just, you know, what other way can we 
kind of keep the brother's name, uh, keep the brother's memory alive. All right. Um, some of us right now need to get up off the couch and go to the gym. You understand what I'm saying? Um, whether it's down there with Biggs and Nabs and Killer Pearl, or wherever you want, wherever you want to go. Trust me, there's a boxing gym in every major city. There's ex boxers in every major city. We just need to find them, man. But to lose your life in that way, man, it's just not. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah. Anyway, let's play this other clip as we give a tribute to our good brother, man. When he was growing up in the Young's Park projects of Norfolk, Virginia, Burnell Whitaker turned to boxing. His life was tough, and only in the ring could he be so in control, in command. Thanks for your inspiration. To the people of Norfolk's public housing projects, Sweet Pea Whitaker is more than just an inspiration. He's part of the family. It was here that Whitaker spent the first 20 years of his life. He's gotten out, but he hasn't forgotten. It's rough now, and it was rough back then, and I, I, I beat it. You know, you can beat, you can beat the street, but I still feel like I'm part of this part of this project, I will always feel like I'm part of this project, because this is what I call home. Who is Colonel Whitaker? Um, I would say 1984 Olympic gold medalist. Winning the gold medal, you know, it was a dream, you know, it was a dream of mine to, uh, to win a gold medal for my mother. My most happiest moment is when I put the gold medal around my mother's neck. I feel the light, you know, my whole life was complete at that point. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue trimmed with white, he weighs 147 pounds. In 1984, he captured Olympic gold, and now as a professional in 43 belts, he has 40 victories. 17 by knockout, with two losses and one draw. There are many experts who believe, actually, that he has never lost a fight in the ring. And over most of the past decade, he has been considered pound for pound the best there is. Tonight, he plans to show the world he still is. From Norfolk, Virginia, ladies and gentlemen, here is the challenger and former six-time world champion, Colonel. Listen, if you've never seen Pernell Sweet Pea Whitaker fight, I would suggest after you get up off of here, go watch this brother fight, man. Seriously, if your jaw don't drop, if you don't say, ooh, oh, damn, four or five times, then yeah, yeah. You have to watch this brother in the ring. Right now, I really want to press the pause button on the platform so y'all can go see this brother fight. Yeah, it's just ridiculous, man. This this brother, oh, let me see. Who can I compare him with? Like right now, the, the boxers of today. He fights like, um. okay, I would, of course, Mayweather. Javante Davis, Josh Kelly. Do y'all know who Josh Kelly is? Biggs, I know you know who Josh Kelly is. Josh Kelly, Vasily Lomachenko. Um, oh, man. There was another fighter. I just can't pull it to mind. But those four mainly, all right, uh, and I think Mayweather said it best. He says, look, I came into this game, man, and, and, and the science that I use is to hit and not be hit. So he ranks, matter of fact, um, Floyd Mayweather ranked Pernell Whitaker out of all of the boxers in the world, I think number two. Guess who was number one? Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> but that that's a lot, man. Pernell Whitaker was one of the best. And you're talking about a defensive fighter that knew the art of boxing? Yeah. You're right, Samuel X. Clark. Whoo. 
Pernell Whitaker was a bad, bad man, man. His hands was just, but not only his hands, man, it's just the fact you couldn't hit him. Footwork was like, the only one I know like that right now that really comes to mind with footwork like that is Lomachenko, man. Vasily Lomachenko. So we want to give a tribute to this brother and um, trying to figure out the best way to do it, especially if you're not a boxing fan. If you was to name your top 10 boxes, a lot of people would struggle with that if, you don't, if you're not into boxing. If you're not into MMA, if you're not into martial arts, you may struggle with that. Why is my phone about to die? Where is my charger? All right. So if you're not into that, then you might not be able to kind of rock with that. I'm, I'm going to get it in one second in the other room. All right. Um, let me play this other clip, man. This was just, hold on one second. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's Freddie Roach. He talked about um, Pernell Whitaker. Hold on for a second. And um, remembering Pernell Sweet Pea Whitaker. Hold on. Hold up. I'm trying to get. All right. That's this is. I think this might be the same one. I'm not sure. Hold on one second. Boxing legend Pernell Whitaker was killed after being be hit right by a back. car in Virginia Beach. Charge. He was only 55 years old. We're told officials received the call around 10.04 p.m. and the call was in response to an accident at the intersection of Northampton Boulevard and Baker Road. When cops arrived, they located the man who had been hit by a vehicle and was in extremely bad shape. That man was Pernell Whitaker. Unfortunately, Whitaker succumbed to his injuries and died. Cops investigated the entire situation, and it is unclear if the driver of the car was arrested, but he did stay on the scene to speak with police. This is not a hit and run situation. The disturbing truth about his death is that it came out of nowhere and was a freak accident. There is no way when he woke up this morning, he could have known that today was going to be his last day. Another thing to point out is that the area where he was hit is not a popular nightlife area. In other words, it's not like he was out partying or anything like that. Whitaker, who is originally from Virginia, is a beast in the ring, winning four titles at four different weights. This 1984 Olympic gold medal champion is one of only four fighters in boxing history to win four titles in four weight divisions. Sweet Pea was introduced into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 2006 and is considered by many to be one of the greatest fighters of all time, right up there with Floyd Mayweather. He fought everyone from Oscar de la Hoya to Julio Cesar Chavez, and even though he lost his fight to Oscar, and his fight with Julio was considered a draw, many believed that he was robbed in both decisions. His pro career began in 1984 and spanned all the way through 2001, with an amazing 44-1 record, including 17 knockouts. He also won a gold medal at the 1984 Olympics in LA. From 1993 to 1997, he was considered the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. And he's considered by many to be pound for pound the best in the world. Today. Ring Magazine named him for the fight of the year as well in 1989. Whitaker is survived by five children. RIP to one of the greatest boxing legends of all time. Give thank thank you for what you do. Oh, thank you. Is that white whitey ten? Thanks. We appreciate that. Striving, make it happen. All right. So listen. Um, let's use this this time. All right. To not only honor the man and his accomplishments. All right. Let's start tonight by getting in shape all right each this is this is a beautiful time to do it what better time right we can get in shape right now 
All right. You don't have to be a professional boxer. You ain't got to do MMA. You ain't got to, you know, any of those things. But what about just taking stock, all right, of your health? What's wrong with that? Like starting like tonight, all right? There's nothing wrong with getting up off the couch, all right? Perfect time to do it. Some of y'all right now feeling the heat wave across the country talking about, oh, it's too hot to do this. It's too hot to do. Come on, y'all, stop. Come on. Come on. All right. So we have to be able to take and harness this energy right here. And, and, and the best way, if you are into boxing and you and you are, are familiar with the brother's career, is is uh let's find our own individual way to pay a tribute and to honor. You're absolutely right. Your health is your wealth. All right? Your health is your wealth. No one has to tell you you need to get in the gym. You already know you need to get in the gym. Some of y'all got gyms in the basement and don't even go in the basement or go in the garage. All right? Like I said, you ain't got to be uh, Tony Tough Ass. You ain't got to do that. Just get in the gym and make something happen. Now, I can understand, you know, you um, you working hard. You, you, you picking electronic cotton, man. You understand what I'm saying? Some of y'all work. Uh, work a regular shift, then overtime, and then work over that overtime. You understand? And have no time to work out. But I'm going to tell y'all right now, I don't care how much you work, how much money you need to make your ends meet. If you don't take care of yourself, right, the money's not going to do you any good, plain and simple, man. Your health is your wealth. All right? Um, I remember when the thing happened with, with Nipsey. The same people that ain't drank goddamn water in seven, seven eight months all of a sudden talking about burning sage and all this other kind of stuff. No, 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 no. No. Start with drinking the water. Start with investing in the self. All right? In other words, just straight up, man. Just get in shape. No one has to tell you. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. You can avoid the majority of the illnesses. All right? Even at 55, Pernell Whitaker was still in shape. Uh, unfortunately, he was just out and got hit by a car. All right. Oh, I'm not sure. Fitzroy Muhammad. I'm not sure if Aaron Pryor and Pernell Whitaker was in the same weight class. I'm not sure. I thought um, Pernell Whitaker was in a Walter weight. Yeah, I think at 147 pounds is that Walter weight division, which is probably the most um uh exciting division all right because you kind of figure if I was boxing I'm too old to be boxing but if I was boxing that would be my weight class hundred and what I think it's 145 to 100 can somebody fact check that for me what is the Walter weight division what's the uh what's the weight You're right, Paulie Fields. I'm on my construction site right now doing a set of push-ups <laughs> every 10 minutes. That's good, man. We got to get it in however we got to get it in. All right? You're right. I said it, Samuel X. Clark. We picking electronic cotton. For real. 147. 147 is the limit? Yeah. Yo, straight up, spirit of justice, you're right. 147 division is lit right now. Like lit. <laughs> For real. That would be my weight class, but them dudes, man. Whoo. Yeah. Um, to name a few. Terrence Bud Crawford. Errol Spence. Um, I don't think Vasily Lomachenko's in that weight class. He's in the he might be lightweight. I don't think um huh? he's a lightweight. Um uh, Mikey Garcia is lightweight and he moved up to fight Earl Spence. But yeah, there's some fighters right now that are really coming up in that weight class right there is the truth for real. So let's take this time as we honor the brother, the fallen brother. Alright. Let's keep the memory of the brother. All right, at least when we get off of here, 
Can we commit to go watching one fight? Can we do that? Can I see the thumbs up? Peace sign, black power fist from everyone. Miss Beauty Two Shoes, can you do that? Oh, give thanks, sis. But can you do that? Can we watch one fight of Pernell Whitaker? All right, I'm not moving forward until we... Ah, uh, Sean Porter. Right, forgot about Sean Porter and, and one time Thurman. Sugar Ray Leonard was a welterweight. Yep, that's that weight class though, man, for real. All right, we got a we got a black power fist. We got all right. We got we got thumbs up. We got black black power fist. All right, one fight. All right, my phone number is six seven eight five five seven two nine one one nine. Write it down. Six seven eight five five seven two nine one nine. Text me tonight and let me know which fight you all watched. Take my phone number down, 678-557-2919. Yo, seen and heard. I don't know if you the right seen and heard, but yeah, you need to be seen and heard, bro, because it's good with you. You just dropped off the face of the earth. I thought you got arrested, murked, something. You understand what I'm saying? Thought you ended up on Skid Row. Had people looking for you. Anyway. Yeah, you're right. One fight. Everybody's agreeing to watch one fight, right? Alex Little. One fight, right? Johnny White. Uh, I said Bud Crawford, man. You late. That's the first name I mentioned, bro. I'm not mentioning, I'm not forgetting Terrence Bud Crawford. All right. Everybody's agreeing to watch one fight. One Pernell Whitaker fight, all right? Me and Shane watched him fight Oscar De La Hoya. I'm not talking about highlights. I'm not. I'm talking about sit down. We owe the man that. Because listen, let's look at it this way. When you pass on to the ancestral realm, right? How do you want people to honor you? Come on now. You got, you got, you wearing the Tupac shirt and the hat. That's how you honor you do that every day. <laughs> how do you want people to honor you? How do you want to be honored? How do you want to be honored? All right. Our hats go off <sighs> to everyone that spends that quality time in the gym trying to get in shape, whether you do it for exercise or whether you just, you're doing it because you want to enter into the world of boxing. All right? Now, listen, some people are putting some names up on the screen. Listen, I ain't forget the Deontay Wilders, the Josh, Anthony Joshua's. I ain't forget them brothers, man, but we're not talking about heavyweight right now. We're talking about the Walter Waits in that division. All right? Yo, seriously, for the whole last half, the whole hour I've been on here, we've been watching the fights. <laughs> for real. Trust me, we've been on it. <laughs> we've been watching Sweet Pea do his thing. All right? So come on, y'all. One fight. We gonna, All of us, we're going to do that. All right? We're going to activate the power of now. As soon as we get off here, I know some of y'all at work. Hell, y'all be sneaking in the bathroom watching that other stuff. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? For real. All right? We committed tonight to watch one Pernell Whitaker fight. All right? Anyway. I don't even know. You must be talking to somebody else, dude. All right, so this Wednesday, we are not going to do Mike Chet, one, two, one, two. It's not going to happen this Wednesday. All right? But I need y'all to tell everybody about the Mike Chet, one, two, one, two. All right, did y'all see this back here? Tell me your stories. Man. Come on, stop playing. Can you, you got the flyer you can put up? The Mike Chet, one, two, one, two. All right? It's right here. Don't go nowhere. Mike Chet, one, two, one, two. An artist development music review live Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Starting J June 5th. It's already started. 
Alright? On www.youtube.com forward slash the letter C forward slash Serious Minds. Uh, we have a panel of industry judges. Sign up and submit your songs and we'll critique them. My check 1212 every Wednesday night. Alright? Every Wednesday night right here. Alright? We will not be on this Wednesday. Alright? We will not be on this Wednesday. This Wednesday happens to be uh, Soleil's born day. Alright? And um, something got to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. but uh, Alright? Well, it was so long, brother. I'm out. Peace. Alright, Biggs. Peace, man. Take care of yourself. I'm going to the gym tomorrow. Alright? So if you know any MCs, tell them to hit Professor Griff up. 678-557-2919. Alright? Alright. Listen, if you want to register for part two of the emergency survival class, alright? It's a preparation class. Hit me up. 678-557-2919. If I gave y'all my email address, y'all not going to email me. Alright? Because, it, yeah, nah. 678 5572919. Give me a call. Now, we had about 15 people on last night. And you know how black people do. Oh, man, yeah, I'm going to be there. Yo, where's it at? For real? Yada, yada, yada. And we talk, we talk, we talk, we talk, we talk. And the night that we're supposed to do it, them same people that talk, talk, talk never show up. All right? Stop that, man. Come on. All right? Damn, Riri, I got to check out your sons then, man. All right? All right. All right, if you, so if you want to participate in the mic check, one, two, one, two, give me a call, six, seven, eight, five, five, seven, two, nine, one, nine. All right, if you want to participate in the emergency survival class, y'all can call me on that too, six, seven, eight, five, five, seven, two, nine, one, nine. All right, oh, happy born day, man. I am Ramadan. Solve it for X, all right? All right, listen. Our hour is almost up. Um, I hope we did justice to giving the brother a decent ride back home to be with the ancestors, man. Our hats off to you. <sighs> Purnell Sweet Pea Whitaker, man. What's the number again? 678-557-2919. 678 678-557- Two nine one nine. Send me a text. All right. I want to hear from everybody tonight on what fight y'all watched. Women, y'all too, because there's some women in the in uh in the um light middleweight division. What's Clarissa Shields? What 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 weight division she's in? Yo, that division is lit also for real. Middleweight. Middleweight. All right. All right, but anyway, I got to get ready to get out of here. Peace, shalom, assalamu alaikum, hotep, whatever greeting you go by. Some just some people say deuces, whatever greeting you go by. All right, everybody send some positive energy out to my moderator, 16. Hope she gets well. All right, hopefully, hopefully she's well enough to do her show tomorrow night. If not, I got to step up, show up, and show the hell out tomorrow. Um, then we'll talk about um, Donald Trump's. Trump's uh, racist tweets. Um, I was ready to do that day. I'm for real. I was like, yo, let's make it happen. For real. All right. Anyway, get well, 16. All right. And shout out to all of those sisters with that sister cipher on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, Quan, um, Carrie A. Where's, where's Cat Boogie at, man? Carrie A. Alex Little. Thank y'all very much. Yo, Alex, you got people texting me about you. Like, yo, when that sister doing another video? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> For real, man. Um, Dallas, Texas is going to be the place, Alex. Quan, 16, going to be there. Uh, Soleil's album release party on the 28th in Dallas, Texas. All right? Okay, all right, so yeah, all right, so happy born day to Soleil, happy early born day Soleil, which is 
Wednesday. All right. I am not going to be available. If I am available, uh, it's probably going to be during the daytime. Come on, say a little something. All right. I just don't want to leave y'all hanging because we have this family thing happening, this serious minds family connection thing happening. All right. Make sure y'all tell up three other people and make sure they tune in tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. All right. It's Professor Griff. I got to get ready to get out of here, man. Can you play Soleil's video? I would like to show a fight, but they might come shut the channel down. We can't even do that like that. So we're going to play Soleil's video. And uh, happy born day to my beautiful wife, um, Soleil. And she'll hear it for the next couple of days. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? Yeah, I'm going to take her to the gym. We're going to film that. We put the gloves on her for real. Y'all think I'm playing. Watch. Serious, man. All right. Peace, man. It's Professor Griff. I'm out. Serious minds. For serious minds. Seriously. Peace. <laughs> Greetings. This is Professor Griff. Tune in every weeknight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube.com forward slash the letter C forward slash Serious Minds RN TV. And make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Serious Minds for Serious Minds. Seriously. Peace.